An invasive species is one that is non-native in a particular ecosystem and whose introduction causes or is likely to cause economic or environmental harm or harm to human health. Species have always used the oceans as a way to spread across the planet. Until recent industrialization, such movement was restricted by factors such as winds and currents. Since humans took to the seas, there are ever-expanding vehicles for dispersing invasive species both faster and further. The figure shows the number of harmful invasive species by region. Dark red patches show areas where invasives have high ecological impact, namely the North Sea, Northern California and the Hawaiian Islands. So how do they get there? Many marine invasive species stow away in ship ballast. Large boats have tanks in their hulls filled with seawater to counterbalance the cargo weight. This water often contains many species from the source and is released at the ship's destination. Overseas, lionfish are a well-known invasive species. They are native to the Indo-Pacific but are now established along the southeast coast of the US, the Caribbean and in parts of the Gulf of Mexico. They are carnivores that feed on small crustaceans and fish, including the young of important commercial fish species, such as snapper and grouper. Marine invaders are nearly impossible to eradicate once established. They also pose threats to people and tourism, with venomous spines that cause a painful wound. Invasive species that thrive usually do so because their new habitat lacks natural predators to control their population. They do damage mainly by consuming native species, competing with them for food or space, or introducing new diseases. These attribute to a number of economic, environmental and social impacts in the new habitats. The Pacific oyster is an invasive species with a large increase in prevalence globally, and with potential of spreading even more due to climate change effects. Work is being carried out here in Falmouth Harbour to help combat the influx of the species. Pacific oysters can be found all over the UK, but no more so than here in the Falmouth Harbour. Brought over from Asia to be farmed, the cold waters of the UK did not stop them from reproducing as previously thought by scientists. They damaged local ecosystems, outcompeting the native species and damaging local boats. Here at Falmouth Marine Conservation Group, we help to control their populations through the breaking open of their shells to make way for the dwindling native populations. To combat invasive species, governments are focusing on how they handle ship ballast, and conservation projects such as those carried out by Falmouth Marine Conservation aim to ease impacts of invasives and try to prevent their spread.